That didn't seem worth it. Trying to give it all so I can give everything elusive. Okay, they all have elusive and lifesteal. Obviously, I would have liked to get, you know, another key, you know, the longer we could, if we could have got another keyword, that would have been nice, but we'll take everything having elusive, tough, scout, fury, lifesteal. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fiora Victor. That's going to be our next deck. Uh, this one was a tough one to put together, uh, kind of deciding which way to go. Piltover and Zon's not a very good region to support Fiora. Not a whole lot of protection uh, as far as uh, that goes, and not like this, not even just like the, the actual support <laughs> units um, and everything like that. So decided to go for like a Victor deck instead. And basically, we have a you know we have a Victor deck with a lot of different created cards that's just going to kind of have Fiora in it. We don't I don't have a lot of stuff for Fiora. We got like uh, Sharp Sights. Of course, we got Chain Vest, uh, we have Repost. So I have some things for Fiora. Concerted Strike is very good with Fiora, so a couple of things. And then I have one spicy one at the, at the top end for Fiora, and that's going to be Give It All. If we get like a lot of keywords on Victor, maybe we have uh, Lifesteal with the Radiant Guardians, we have Elusive with uh, Daring Poros. I don't know, we could have like a bunch of stuff like that, then we can play Give It All, and that could make a, a really large Fiora with a bunch of keywords. Um, you know, that's so that's an option, <laughs> you know, so we're gonna have one of those in here. One Glorious Evolution to go along with the Victor, and then also some Bright Steel Formations. With with us being in like a mini morph world, I didn't want to have just rely on just Fiora and Victor. want to have some other like super big top end thing since we're going to be kind of a slow control deck. And Bright Steel Formation does a great job winning game. So got a couple of those in here also. But that's what it's all about. We got car extra card draw with like Aloof Travelers. Um, but then a lot, and like Time Trick, a lot of created cards. Station Archivist creating cards. Um, Egghead Researcher creating some dragons. Um, obviously the Ballistic Bots create the Ignitions. We can discard the Ignitions for some Daring Poros to create those. So lots of good stuff. Alright, so let's give it a try. Let's play some Fiora Victor. We're going to go play five games. I think this deck's going to do pretty well. I think all of our decks are going to do well. Draven Scion. This will be tough. But if we can get, like, if we can survive and get, like, Bright Steel Formation in play, that seems like a difficult card for them to deal with. We'll send all these back. We'll keep Radiant Guardian. Because speaking of difficult cards for them to deal with, Radiant Guardian's up there. And it shall help us survive. I'm glad we have the attack token round three with the Fiora. I'm probably going to have to discard this, give it all. The reason why I don't want to discard the give it all right now... I'm going to be doing that for the Daring Poros. The reason why I don't want to do it right now is because I want this to do 3 damage. So it can kill, like, Draven. Or other stuff like that. Boom ba boon. I want to give them priority. Maybe they play the Draven, then I some fumes, then I Fiora. I kinda want to. No. Like I want a Fiora challenge, but if I play Fiora right now and they Mystic Shot the Fiora. We are in a lot of trouble. Kind of already in a lot of trouble though. They would fall I don't have anything to die now for Radiant Guardian. So maybe I don't block one of the one ones. Pass. Pass. Yes. Okay. I never tried. Oh, I thought they were going to shoot Fiora right there. 
and then I'll be able to play Radiant Guardian. Okay. That'll do. I fight for the fallen. Got some attackers coming in. Still just challenge with the other one. They could have represented lethal. Or if they would have spinning axed and then challenge over here, that's 15. I had a concerted strike, but I will end this here. They have more ravenous blocks. Okay. I think we have something on that case. Mm. All right, so I attack, they block with Scion, I repost. Seven, eight, nine, I gave nine. You will be scoured from this land. Get me. Good hand opponent. GG's. They had enough card draw thanks to the sum treasures to find them. They get excited. Good game. Alright, we got Zoe Fizz. Bandle Targon. Okay. I could see keeping aloof travelers. Yeah, I mean. When you're not happy to have aloof travelers. All right, cool. Got Poro Cannon to go along with Ballistic Bot. Poro Cannon, definitely a good card against both champions. So that's a good one. Ooh, Sharp Sight's good against those champions as well. Ballistic bot time. So they're definitely going elusives. We have a couple of cards good against elusives. And I think we can just go ahead and play out two daring poros. They must have, like, the turn something into a 1-6 card, and maybe they're thinking about turning their own thing into a 1-6. Or they're just distracted and doing something else also while playing. Can you improve perfection? Alright, so everything's cheaper than Tenor of Terror. 
That's why I led with... It was a good open attack, but I led with the aloof travelers basically because of this here. I, I didn't think that they would play something as good as aloof travelers. Like, I thought that that would still be good to attack with that. And I was right. Okay, so there's that stress defense we were talking about. Which, obviously, I'm really happy with that. Stress defense trading for half of my Poro Cannon. Safety disengaged. Like a dragon. With a little time, I'll yeah, have a we could have. A, that's what I was gonna say. Is we could have a cool dragon to play next round. No, my poor bot. And I'm not playing this ignition, so that we can have three save three spell mana. Next round, we have a total of nine mana. We'll be able to firebrand and mystic shant. Dragon? Yep, it's a dragon. Yeah, they could have silenced the Poro attack with Zoe. I guess maybe they're playing some of the one mana deal ones from Bandle. They're looking at one of those. We already saw how we discarded. Yeah, or Pokey Stick. Some kind of sm some kind of thing they would deal deal with that. There we saw how we like discarded uh, one of these ignitions. Follow the tracks. I need to attack into the the fangs like that. And so maybe they thought that we're you know pretty much built around those ignitions. And they want to stop my ignition engine. So we have one extra card in hand than they do, and a better board. Yeah, I'm sorry, Victor. Maybe I should be taking the Victor, but I like taking removal. I want to have lots of ways to kill the Zoe. If they're able to protect it a couple of times. Alright, so they can take time trick. And I don't know the other. The opponent's playing a Fizz Zoe deck. Deck with lots of spells and elusives. Nothing's more exciting than an unsolved mystery. Alright, Zoe's at eight. Now about to be nine. I guess the Zoe's gonna level up, isn't it? Are you going on an adventure? I'm going too. Yeah, I guess Zoe's leveled up. So we're going to wait for the attack to play these, try to kill the Zoe, even though all they have to do is play any other spell to level up Zoe. The reason why, I want to do it during combat so that they can't play a new Zoe. I don't want them to be able to play a new Zoe. What I mean by that is like, like I play some fumes, they play some kind of protection, I have to play my other some fumes, and now they play a new Zoe and get to hit with that. Why did you turn into a 2-2? Two -two? Oh, you pill cascaded over there. Right, right. They didn't pill cascade the Zoe. Um. So 
That just takes out the spell shield. I kind of really want to play the Glorious Evolution the next round. So that's too bad. Didn't get to play Glorious Evolution. Glorious Evolution, super cool. And remember, like a daring portal is going to be able to give all these elusive. Probably could play not blocking. I wanted them to block. It's only seven damage if I take it all. I kind of want to take it all so I can glorious evolution. It's just seven damage. Doesn't seem like that many. Otherwise, we're, you know, some fumes one, Mystic Shot another. That's seven mana I'm left with. And then we only take three. I'm left with four mana left. I'm gonna be greedy. I'm gonna play Glorious Evolution. Glorious Evolution here is gonna turn Ballistic Bot into one mana. We're going to be able to play this Ballistic Bot, cover up the other one. And then round start will create zero mana ignition that also buffs up the entire team. Zero mana ignition plus vision. Luck. Oh no! No bright seal formation for us. Perfection. So I'm gonna kill my own Loof Traveler so that we get to play Radiant Guardian. You never. And then we can make Radiant Guardian bigger with ignition. We made it. Oh no 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 no! Let's get that out of my hand real quick. That was close. Such fascinating creatures. Humankind must realize its full potential. Join the glorious evolution. The flesh bags will bow, break maker. So Mr. Shot's back to being two mana. Like it's supposed to be. So if we're able to gain the life with the Radiant Guardian, that was worth it. If not, you know, we could have obviously saved that removal spell to, for killing an elusive. Just kill me. Oh, hush. So I'll put him down to two. But they're looking at this Mystic Shot in my hand. 
Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Talk about things I did not expect. Look at all that impact. Safety disengaged. If the opponent plays it correctly, they have lethal. Let's see if they can figure it out. Oh, good draw. That's a heck of a draw. Okay, they did not figure out how to do lethal. Stay back. I will end this here. So what I'm worried about, yeah, that, that spell thief was great because they should just get a burn spell. Is it they have? Yeah, if it's a burn spell, I just lose anyway. Yeah, and that. What a what a perfect draw that spell thief. All right, well I got hushed. Shouldn't have used the removal on my own thing for the Radiant Guardian, because we got hushed. Should have used the removal on one of their things. Dang, I, I had no business losing that game. Okay, another deck with a lot of elusives. Aftershock's good, but it's so expensive. But it could kill Nami, but just never does. I've I've really struggled with Piltover and Zahn in this matchup because they they always play like protection, like enough good protection to keep Nami alive, and Nami keeps everything else alive. It's not a good Piltover and Zahn matchup. Witness perfection, meat bags. I need that, give it all. Run and ready. Yeah, we've definitely played Scar Grounds decks. Um, probably the best Scar Grounds deck is Vladimir and Braum together. Strength in grace. Beauty in the blade. I will go. Oh God. Man, Fiora is just so weak with only two health. That card is so weak. Make some big ballistic bots. So that'd be pretty cool. Embrace the current or be swept away. Safety disengaged. Yeah, Vouge says crazy how one health turned it from one of the strongest cards to one of the weakest. Yeah, that one health is a big, big deal. This is not looking good for me. It had a very strong hand with the... It's always really important to have that double trouble round three. They did have the double trouble round three, but then also have the Nami. Like those, those are like the two most important cards to see. They had them both, and then they also have their other champion, the Shelly, the other champion. 
So it's looking pretty bad for me. Why are they not blocked the 5 3? Let the tide carry you. Don't you look a sight? System upgrade. If only we could give it all next round. Right, so I'm assuming. Assuming we're gonna have Daring Poro die. But I guess they, they didn't get to level up Nami, so we're not doing that that bad. So this dies, we play Radiant Guardian. I could play Give It All next round, but then I don't get to cast any of the Hexcore upgrades. Let the tide carry you. Maybe just Repost block? Kill Zoe? Shelly. No, we're just gonna go regular block. Get Radiant Guardian in play. And I'll wait a minute for. I fight for the fallen. I think we wanna play Hex Core upgrades. Alright, so now their Nami's leveled up. Scout's good. Zoe Nami's awesome when you have double trouble in Nami. So what did they get with that? Did they get the card that brings another Sparklefly in play? I figure if they would have grabbed the stun, they would have stunned right now. So since they didn't stun... I hope they don't have hush. They really had everything. Double Trouble Nami, Zoe Shelley, got a Sparkle Fly in here, and had Hush. That didn't seem worth it. Trying to give it all so I can give everything elusive. Okay, they all have elusive and lifesteal. Obviously, I would have liked to get, you know, another key, you know, the longer we could, if we could have got another keyword, that would have been nice, but we'll take everything having elusive, tough, scout, fury, lifesteal, augment. Overwhelm. I can't back down. Yeah, why didn't they pass the round? Why didn't I just take the pass? I should just I should have done that. I should have just taken the pass. I realized I thought about that like right after I cast the hex core upgrade. Should just be taking the pass. Yeah, why didn't I just take the pass? 
Anyway. We'll block there. And we'll block here. Hold back the darkness. Block here. I think we got it. Cool. So it's gonna be tough to make those things deal twenty. Yep, needed to open attack on their side. That's why we play Give It All. That was that was a really cool cool win for Give It All. These things cost zero. It's the thing to do is to play them. I like like quick attack. Fearsome, eh. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Sharp side's good. I don't want them casting hush on my victor. Could still have a lot of hushes. Cool. All right, gotta win. You're a victor. Give it all. Give it all, elusive. Hecarim Zed. All right, they're gonna be attacking a lot. Let's hopefully get some removal for Zed. Not really removal for Zed right there. I wouldn't necessarily say this is removal for Zed either. Because they have the attack token in round three. There we go. So we'll see what the dragon's gonna be. Obviously, we could start with Ballistic Bot, but I'm not planning on casting those ignitions anytime soon. And then if they do have Zed plus protection, I'd rather block with an Egghead Researcher than block with a Ballistic Bot. Cool. No Twin Disciplines. Saving the spell mana right here. Have the extra spell mana for Archivist. Shark Chariot as non-ephemeral isn't very good. Please don't play Hecarim. Alright, no Hecarim. Join the glorious evolution. The flesh bags will bow, great maker. I'm glad we got, you know, like that death mark out of their hand before. Can you improve perfection? Before these other cards. Ooh, Nopify. On that. Alright, so we're at two. 
I think we'll go and play this and make it three. Well, a seven mana next round, we'll play Cantragrin and Hexcore upgrade, and that'll make it five. Join me if you want to live. Cantagrin can grant Victor Challenger. So that then the hex core upgrade gives a different uh, different keyword. Nope, not you. You. Because Cadigrin can block Hecarim. That's always good. They're still going towards Victor's level up, but Victor's not getting any keywords. Not the egg. Have a give it all coming up. The same calling card from our other case. Guess it's possible they're a ruination deck. Oh, I don't have the mana for this concerted strike and hex core upgrades. Yeah, that wasn't too smart by me. Taking the concerted strike. Can you improve perfection? I think we're doing just fine though. I think it could have taken like a Mystic Shot or something else, something I could have played. It looks like I'm probably going to play Fiora right here. So they take nine, go down to three. All right, cool. As I expected. All right, back to 500, two and two. All right, Shadow Isles, Breljord. Could be Howling Abyss Control, could be Yetis. I'll keep this time trick, probably a slower deck. Even though Yetis aren't necessarily slower. We'll keep the time trick to kind of help us find whatever we need. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Nothing escapes my watch. In Avarosa's name. Hmm. We'll get the Egghead Researcher in play. You don't want to kill the Sentry right away. The longer you can wait before giving them that extra card, the better. Good Dragon to hit. Oh yeah, you didn't realize the Give It All card existed? Yeah, that that's a fun card, and yeah, that, that could definitely could give you a good uh, meme tier deck with the arsenal. Absolutely. Make everything arsenals. We made it. Yay. 
are stuffed in it. Ooh, Crafts and Dying is the most expensive card. Alright, so no, like, Ruination. Keep leveling up the victor. Join me if you want to live. You dropped something. I dropped everything. There's the howling abyss. That is too bad. They were playing howling abyss. That was their their plan. Did they just find ruination? Avalanche. All right. Join the glorious evolution. The flashbacks will bow, break maker. Oh, I meant to give Victor top first. Impact? That's the worst one. I don't really care about the rest of the stuff dying. Oh, I guess I should just cast this right now. Before that fleeting card goes away. Some fumes. No materials, no improvements. So yeah, it is the howling abyss control. These old eyes still see far and clear. Ingenious. Ladies, where are you? Another free as humanity ends. The machines rise. Just too bad it made them discard their Howling Abyss. Howling Abyss is such a cool card. <laughs> kind of keeping Repost available. Don't really need a Fiora these things. Don't really need a Fiora at all. This is a really good dragon to hit off Egghead Researcher with this kind of matchup. Uh, I guess we'll get a second Bright Seal formation in case the first one's not enough. In case they kill the first one. I think we're playing two Aftershocks. One. We have one Aftershock. I was planning on playing the Eclipse Dragon, but I guess we could go look for Aftershock first. Chill in the air. 
Bright Steel Formation. We haven't played this card yet. At least I don't think we had. Gets the barrier right back. Okay, just need three more of those. <clears throat> Take down one bright steel formation. Station Archivist has been awesome. Just this deck, the Teemo Hecarim deck. So you only need one, you just play one Aftershock and now you have two copies of Aftershock. Thanks for that card. Dang. Alright, that will do. Three and two. They even kind of threw away one game. Could have been a four and one. Give it all was really cool. Being able to, you know, like we saved that game against Zoe Nami. We won that game thanks to Give It All. Um, that that was really cool with giving them all life steal, tough, and elusive. Poro Cannon was awesome for us in so many different matchups. We only had the one Poro Cannon, but man, did it come in clutch quite a bit. Just a nice little deck, you know, again, just a, a cool victor deck. Were we good with Fiora? Not so much. You know, we were really not a Fiora deck at all. Uh, you know, the Fiora would have been better as like an Ezreal or a Caitlyn. Um, you know, something else like that, but that's perfectly fine. You know, it's a random champion day, and we have to build a deck around Fiora and Victor, and I think we built a very good deck. All right, there we go. That's our third third random champion deck third winning record we're gonna go ahead and try out caitlin swain up next so those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button and as always leave those comments and hopefully y'all are enjoying these random champion decks uh this time with fiora victor let me know in the comment section but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video